baking supplies, cups and mugs, dishes, alcohol. Apparently a lot of that. It all piled up on the table and counters. Because it is the hub of the home. Right. So it's like kind of where everybody's at, where you entertain from. So there's a lot of pieces that are happening in there. To create order, we first had to create chaos, more than what was already lurking in my cabinets. When you move into a kitchen, like you kind of are just like, let's get it put away. And it's not thought out about how you're gonna work in the kitchen because you haven't really spent the time in it when you first move in. It's been a number of years since we had our new cabinets. And since then, things have piled up inside. The Happy Lark team came in like a gang of Ghostbusters to tackle the demons in my kitchen. They say the first rule, start over. So we completely empty the whole kitchen out and we start fresh. Once everything is out of the drawers and cabinets, it helps you to get an idea of how much stuff you've accumulated and what you can let go of. We always make our clients come and do a purge. So we categorize everything by like item because it's more impactful when you see all the same items together and you're like, oh my gosh, I do have 10 spatulas. And it's so helpful with someone else doing the work. So in this cabinet, we're going to work the coffee mugs in here because we're close to our coffee maker. What next? <laughs> with items dwindling down for donation and some that just needed to be thrown away, the true organization started. We sell small appliances like the blender and the chopper that need a home. They worked in each cabinet and drawer, finding the perfect place for everything, even for Kevin. Decanting is, is huge. It's just taking things out of boxes and putting them into something like a Susan or a container allows for everybody to be a little bit more independent. You can see when the items are getting low. So your shopping list, it happens so much faster because you're not having to open the boxes and see how many do I have left. And made sure to keep a big part of our routine, a kid's cabinet. We will implement some uh, bins that will allow the plates to be separated, the cups to be separated, so that when the kids are helping, they're not making a huge mess. Look how clear that table is now. It slowly came together. A new home for baking supplies, a special cabinet for coffee cups and to-go mugs, an under-the-sink organization too. But maybe one of the craziest things was swapping our junk drawer with our silverware drawer. It's been a few weeks now with the new system in place. Yep, she purchased most of the stuff Karen suggested. <laughs> Heather and family say their favorite organization items or organizational items have been the dishwasher tabs under the sink, the treat area for Kevin, and the coffee box. Yeah, she says they're still getting used to the junk drawer change, though. And you know what? I would be still going to the old mm -hmm. drawers because it's so so yep. much of the memory. You oh, yeah, know. yeah. But to enlist the help of Happy Lark Home Organizing for your home, just go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have a link for you right there.